Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Tim here with Test Demi. We're back live and direct, and we're going to get into a new topic today. And that topic has to do with modules, baby. Modules, which pretty much means importing your own code. So let's get into the code, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave up what we have here. And uh, like I mentioned, modules pretty much means importing um, other pieces of code. So when you're talking about other pieces of code, it can be... Uh, let's say a couple of factors. It can be Python's built-in uh, code, which other developers have written. It can be the code you have written, or it can be a, a, a code that you want to import that other people have written. And we've looked at a few so far. Uh, when we looked at uh, importing Selenium, Selenium, like I mentioned, is an API. It's just a huge uh, library, which uh, you, we have to install using the PIP uh, Python installation package, uh, which can be used. So we were talking about modules. Modules is just a way to write cleaner code, more modular code. Uh, for example, if you're working on a team with other test automation engineers and they have uh, their uh, particular assignment is to write the test automation script for a particular part of the actual web application and you have a, a, a different part of the application, well, they will write theirs and they will create a file which is called the PY file. PY, PY, pardon me, file, which is a Python extension. And what you can do is if you want to actually uh, use their code within your code, you just go ahead and run what's called like the import keyword. And you can import whatever their code is. Let's say it's called uh, test automation, you know, test uh, automation, whatever, test automation. You go ahead and import that so you can actually let use their code. You import it within Python. So on this first part of this uh, modules videos, I want to talk about Python's built-in modules. Uh, let me show you guys something else again here. Uh, let's pull this up. And uh, you can see here, I have the uh, Python standard library. And with this Python standard library, Python has a lot of built-in modules. As we've seen, there are a lot of math modules. There's a lot of programming modules. Uh, the variety of modules you can look at. For example, if we look at the numeric and ma mathematical modules, there are a whole bunch that you can leverage. Again, you don't have to memorize this, but if you ever have to use them, it's always good to come here and see what particular module you have to use. Like there's a random module, there's some math modules, and a variety of other modules you can leverage. But I want to just show you guys that that's there. That's the Python standard library. And again, I'm going to probably leave those comments there. I'll give me the link so you guys can access it at any time. But let's go back and look at Selenium. Since we're looking at um, working with Selenium, just some of the uh, built-in modules here or some modules you can leverage. Uh, so we can say from... Uh, actually, let's look at another one. It's called um, it's called WebDriver. So let's say import. Uh, let's say import. Yeah, the web browser, right? Let's go. Sorry, not web browser. It's web browser. So let's say web browser. And if you ever want to see the, what it can do, just hit dot. You can say uh, dot open. And when you do the dot open, uh, again, this open is either is either. Uh, well, let, let me just show you guys. It's a method, right? A method is pretty much a function within a class, which we're going to talk about later. Uh, or you can just look at a, uh, a regular function, which uses the DEF uh, keyword. So you can see here the F, which shows it's a function uh, within web browser. And again, web browser is built in. And you can use it to open up. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the screen. Let's go do uh, open up, let's say, YouTube. Let's go to YouTube.com. And if we go ahead and uh, run this, okay, you guys can see it here, but it actually, <laughs> it actually opened it up here uh, on my other screen. Let me close it out. Let's uh, let's try it again. Let's um, do, 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 oops, all right. Let, let's try it again. Let's let's go ahead and run that again. And let me bring it over. See, so can it's opening it up. See, so that's pretty cool, right? So you imported that module. So pretty much. What, what's happened here by going to youtube.com we can go to another website let's say you want to open up a few let's say you want to open up another one uh, let's say you want to open a uh, Facebook we can go to actually don't even need www you can just do Facebook uh, facebook.com and see you there it just opened up both of those browsers you can see YouTube is opening up here and we have Facebook open up here right so Facebook you can log in and do a lot of great things uh, let me go ahead and close that. So that's um, pretty much the import module function. So like I said, it's it's code that uh, that's come built in with Python. There are a lot of modules which you can leverage using the um, the Python standard library. Um, 
you can use the ones that are uh, another developer has written. For example, like when we looked at uh, Selenium, when we said uh, from from um, WebDriver, let's see. Okay, actually, no, sorry, it's from Selenium. And you actually can see where Selenium is housed, right? It shows you where it's actually housed with, on my local. So, so from Selenium, you can say import um, WebDriver, right? Okay, and now if we go ahead and uh, create a function, let's go ahead and comment this out. Let's comment these three out so we don't have to use them. Remember, control uh, forward slash. All right. Sorry, what are you? Stop deleting. Stop it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and do, um, let's just call this driver. And we're going to say web driver dot. You can see a variety of the methods, right? We can use Firefox. And we can say uh, here, we're going to say driver dot. And you can see a lot of the methods, forward, close, quit. We'll do get. And uh, again, we're going to open up a browser using Selenium. We're not, we're not going to get into all the other parts of it yet. But uh, we'll say HTTP. Uh, we can say testdemi.com, right? Um, and we can go ahead and put this in a method. Let's go ahead and do this uh, testdemi. Let's go ahead and call this. We're going to go ahead and call this method testdemi. So every time we call this method, Every time we call that test demi method, it's actually just going to open up the web browser again. This, remember, we talked about functionality, how to reuse code, um, um, be more efficient when you're writing code. And let's go ahead and run this uh, driver, and let's go ahead and do that close. So we can actually close it, right? Okay. Um, and now, so we want to go ahead and call this function. Just going to call test demi. So when we actually run this, you're going to see it's just going to open up the browser, right? Um, running it here. So. Um, Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Just taking a while. You see, just it just took a while uh, to open that up. But anyway, it's running pretty slow sometimes. Uh, that's the thing with Selenium. Sometimes it can tend to be slow. But there you go. It opened up our web browser uh, for testdemi.com, um, and you can see. Uh, you know, you, you guys can check that out when you get a chance. Uh, but let's go ahead and close it out. So when we call that function, testdemi. He went ahead and uh, used the import um, web driver uh, functionality that we called. Now, um, one thing to have to keep in mind, for example, if I uh, if I take this out, right, you're going to see um, Selenium, excuse me, not Selenium, but uh, Python is complaining, saying, okay, hey, what is this keyword? I have no idea which this is referring to uh, right here. So you definitely want to make sure you're actually importing it uh, correctly. Okay, so another thing we can do here is uh, we can... Uh, in order to make your code more efficient, because a lot of times when you're working with um, modules, you don't necessarily want to import everything. Because uh, when you look at a module, modules, like I, I mentioned, it's a, a piece of Python code with the file extension PY. And it might have a lot of a variety of different functions within that particular uh, module or file uh, name. So what you can do is to make your code more uh, efficient. Uh, if you if we go back to our example with the import web browser here, uh, what you want to do here is as opposed to doing import web browser, you can just import because uh, if you notice here when we ran this uh, web browser dot open open is a function within this web br browser. Keep in mind just look at web browser as a file and open is one of the functions the def functions that has code a code block in it that tells you to do something in other words the code is written to open up this url and we're going to talk about this on the next video where you can actually create your own modules and have functions within that which you guys have actually probably been doing but you just didn't know so uh, what i want to show you here so you can do the same thing we did for selenium above uh, actually uh yeah uh, let's just actually let, let's actually comment out selenium's part uh you can do this you can do from uh, you can do from web browser import now you want to import uh, from the web browser uh, module just that method or that function alone and we can just do open right and now if I clear all this let's just clear all this up and let's just create a function and we're gonna call our function um, let's call it YouTube uh, let's just call it open YouTube open YouTube all right let's go ahead and call it open YouTube and we're gonna go ahead and say now if you notice this 
we just type in open we don't have to even type in web browser it doesn't even allow us because remember previously we typed in web browser dot open no no since you've already imported it here this open uh method or function you can just say hey call it open and now you can go ahead and just uh pass the string of the url you want to open uh in this case which is going to be youtube.com and we just do youtube youtube.com and remember don't forget you want to make sure you actually call oops you want to actually make sure you call that particular function um let's go ahead and let's go ahead and comment this out and now you can go ahead and uh yeah we can ignore this because since this since this function this is this is our function call but since we commented it out python is just going to ignore this because it, it's not going to do anything so now we can go in and run it and again the only reason you can run it because we've actually imported the open function from the web browser uh, module so go ahead and run it and it open youtube.com pretty slick right right to it right to youtube's home page um another thing you can do is um what you can also do is as opposed to doing the open method you can go ahead and actually import everything right and that asterisk means import all the modules maybe you don't know the name of the uh the functions open or there's a get function you don't know the name of it you can just do imp asterisk and an asterisk means import everything right which is good but sometimes you don't want to import everything to make your code more efficient especially for memory issues for performance your code can uh run more efficiently uh, but again it's still going to work see because we already have the open method actually if we don't even use that and i come here you know i do open and it shows me the variety of different you know because i have everything now whereas if i just had open i didn't have all those other options so if i just had open you know i don't have all the other options there see i don't have to get all those other options but i just have pretty much open right uh, for me to run it so those are a few things you guys can do uh i want you to go ahead and uh, practice uh with this uh, but i wanted to just show you guys a few things you can utilize uh, when you're running functions another great things we would have done we would have just uh done something like this we would have just done um open websites right and as opposed to passing this we can just say uh we'll just say we'll call this uh we'll call this site we'll pass a function and we can just say run return remember the return the output we want and we can just say return uh we can just say return and that will just be open uh here and we can just say site right so when you do open so you know to run the open function and you're, you're passing the site to it and now when we go ahead and call it okay so yeah it's complaining so we can say open websites and now you just have to actually here's where you actually have to pass in uh the website here just pass in the actual website we want to run and it should still do the same thing but in this case we want to open up youtube uh the good thing about that you can open up youtube uh let's say you want to open up several websites you can just do open up websites you can do youtube here you can do facebook right that's see then that this is the good thing about methods as opposed to me having several methods i can just write a me method function call to do an open and i can just pass the the actual uh, arguments i want here i can, I can open up uh, uh i can open up um here we can do uh we can do google all right and we can also do let's just do one more website let's go ahead and open up um let's go ahead and open a uh, uh lead code leadcode.com all right and it should go ahead and open up all these websites see that leadcode.com is opening lead code google is open facebook is open and youtube so that's a great thing about functions how it helps make our code efficient uh and again even if i had our i open up our test demi you can see this sorry guys, i know i just keep pausing but I just, this to me this is very exciting you can see that's running uh actually our <laughs> if you notice we have a failure here uh but remember what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, do a try and accept but that's not applicable here let, let's let that run in the background can you guys tell me why this is failing name error not defined pause it check out my code see if you can figure it out but let me show you what the problem is here because we commented this out again doesn't recognize it but now if we go ahead and run this we run this again let's go ahead and close this out um close this out uh leakcode.com so we have everything and we've called test demi uh, actually let's let's call all our functions at the bottom we're trying to write some cleaner code uh, so we're going to call 
We're calling the open websites functions. We're calling test dummy. So this is how you write clean code, guys. And we can just go ahead and open everything. We shouldn't have any error messages. So it should open all four URLs. And this is the web browser uh, module that you see in effect here. And here, here goes. There you go. This is Selenium right now. This is Selenium web uh, the web driver uh, module. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys a few things how you can write your own functions. How much fun it is to practice, practice, practice. So I want to encourage you to practice, practice, practice. Don't forget subscribe on the YouTube channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you learned something, hit like right there. Check out testdemi.com. Here's the website. Go ahead and uh, check out the free tutorials we have here. Uh, how to get a job and uh, quality assurance and new experience. I have a free tutorial on there. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Testdemi.com. It's Tim checking out. See you soon in the next video. Let's go.